Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Math and I get along like uh, oil and water. And uh, I realized that it just wasn't going to be in my future in terms of a career uh, when I was taking physics in high school. I enjoyed the experiments, but it was the whole uh, documentation thing that really tripped me up. I mean, I just I wasn't interested in that side of things. And, uh, you know, I, I remember finding an app online called Crayon Physics. That was a lot of fun, where you could draw different shapes and then interact with them in uh, various uh, ways. You may have seen uh, Flash apps like this before on the web. But what I'm about to show you is something that will run on your desktop, whether you're using Mac or Windows. Nah. It's called OE Cake. I... Honestly, I uh, don't know how I found it. Uh, just stumbled across it, and it, the site was not in English. It can be found at OctaveEngine.com. Outsanity has got a direct link for it there. And as soon as you see, see me playing with it, you'll understand why you're going to want to download this right away, because it's fun. All right, so I've got a variety of objects that I can draw here in my, uh, I guess, area. And I'm going to start out by drawing a wall. Oh, there we go. It's by default, it's kind of this reddish brown. There's this wall. It will jut it up there. Now I'm going to sprinkle a bit of water over this wall and see what happens. Here, fill up some water. Now watch this. The water falls down. Okay, so now there's a little bit of, of, of water that's still on my wall if you can't see it. Uh, I need some viscous, some goo. All right, so there's some goo there. Ew. Very, very gooey. So it's kind of like sliming off. Okay, uh, I'm going to put a little heater underneath that wall there. And I am going to pour some gas over the heater. And then set it on fire. Now it's on fire. It's burning through the viscous goo. And down here I got a mix. All right, uh, now I'm going to make some, uh, like a rice object, see what that looks like. Some little rice pellets flying around. Uh, now I can also make an access point. So this will kind of spin around as I drop things on it. Uh, let's see, what else can I drop on it? Oh, string, I'll show you that in a second. Let's drop some powder over that. So now the powder, and they're going to spin around. See, I'm going to be able to have so much fun. It's just fun. That's all it is. I mean, that's all it's doing. I can drop mochi if I want. I love mochi. Uh, jet, there's another option there. Brittle, uh, that's probably objects that are just going to fall. Yep, yeah, it's just crunching all over, but it's it's keeping its shape. Uh, tinsel. Uh, let's see here. What else do I have? I just got so many options here. In fact, I can even define my own option if I want. Uh, oh, the string one is a lot of fun. Uh, this will actually, if you tie it to one end, it'll it'll stay connected to it, but then kind of goo around. It's a string. So I'll put a string on my heater. Oh, it didn't stick. There. It's got to stick to the wall. It didn't, uh, didn't stick to the heater, but look at that thing just swinging around. It's kind of disgusting, actually. Uh, let's get, let's, 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 there we go. I'm sorry. Now we've got a whole bunch of purple string goo all over my screen. It's a lot of fun. That's all it is. Uh, yes, there are some physics lessons to be learned in this, but more than anything, uh, it, it's really there for fun, I think. I mean, they developed this uh, in conjunction with the other software that they have available at their website, although I, I couldn't tell you what kind of software it was. I don't even know how I figured out what this was until I just downloaded it. I download just about anything, and I'm glad I did. Either Mac or Windows you're able to run this. And there's a variety of options I couldn't even get into because I know you're already probably trying to download this and run it for yourself. Uh, and I think, I think you can run this on uh, like a, a laptop that has an accelerometer because I thought I saw an option in here somewhere. Oh, motion sensor, there you go. So I believe the motion sensor option on OS X would mean that I, as I drew something and then shaked my laptop, sh shaked? Listen to me. I was the English major. Shook the laptop around. In theory, you know what? I have to try this. I'm zooming out. I'm going to OE cake. Let's see here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try copying it to uh, the, the laptop here and see if I can get some motion sensors going. 
I, I realized I should have done this like before I had uh, done the uh, uh, or started this video recording. You will have to forget. You guys want me to see you, if that actually works, don't you? Tell me you do. Tell me I'm not just doing this because I, I'm crazy enough to do it. Please, just just tell me that. That that's all I ask. Right? You want to see it? Okay, you want to see it. All right? Let's go to Chris. Open up the desktop. Copy this over here. And now, 10 megabytes later, we're going to try here. Turn it around here. Got my laptop cooler that it's sitting on. Uh, the Excel, there's the chat room. The accelerometer is in the MacBook. So we'll open up OE Cake. There we go. There's our little app. We're going to make some access points. So, sorry, you guys may not be able to see that yet. And now, ooh, let's do the string, because the string we know is like full of like boogery goodness. Sorry, I realize I probably could have thought of a different word. Oh, wait, I got to turn on the motion sensor. Sorry. Uh, turn on the motion sensor. There's the option. Motion sensor. Whoa. It worked. Oh, my God, it worked. It, oh, boy, this is going to be fun. Okay, let's sprinkle some water in there. Uh, let's get some brittle in there, uh, some fuel, there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom in, because I don't think I can, I can make that, that partic this particular palette, or I guess the, the, uh, the palette go full screen, but now I have to reverse the axis, it looks like, but I can interact with it, uh, here, let me try to turn down the brightness so you can see it a little better. I can interact with it. If I may have to check out where I can reverse the access points, but it is uh, complying to my accelerometer on my MacBook Pro. <laughs> ah, this is cool. Sorry. Uh, now I, I realize that you're never going to get anything done again as long as you live, uh, because that that's fun, especially if you have a device that has an accelerometer in it. I could definitely see something like that getting ported uh, to the iPhone then it'll be really a lot of fun because, of course, the accelerometer in here uh, also allows for a bit more creativity and interactivity with applications. Anyway, uh, if you aren't impressed with this, I, nothing would impress you. Again, for Windows or the Mac, if your hardware has an accelerometer, you know it'll work with it now. I'm not sure about the access points, and I'm sure it's reversible in some way. I just haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> But my email address is chris at perlo.com. Maybe you know of another application that nobody's ever heard of. I'm not talking about the fun applications everybody, everybody knows about, Tux Racer, okay? I'm talking about fun, interactive, potentially scientific applications that nobody knows about, but you know about. Let me know. My email address is chris at perlo.com. Maybe you've seen something that's equally as cool. Oh, and by the way, it's free. This is free. What's not to like? Hopefully you like me. If not, oh well. Maybe you like the people that are hanging out in the chat room. Uh, they're, they're hanging out with me throughout the day because I'm streaming my entire life, well, most of my life, online. Yeah, right here, this video I'm doing live. And I decided to stop my demonstration to try something that could have blown up in my face, especially if I used the fuel and the fire. The string is, look at that, the string is still swinging here. This is kind of disgusting. It's just, I don't know why. It's just string is just going <clears throat> so disgusting I'm, I'm gonna move to the stationary string now here <clears throat> anyway if you'd like to stop by to say hello watch the live video feed catch up on my blog you're welcome to we're at live.perillo.com we'll see you later